let's have a look at this trigonometric identity proof together. Now, when you have a look at this, part of what is just messy is all these fractions flying around. Sarang asked a very common question that students actually do for this. Maybe if you're having a look at, if you had a look at someone else's working, they did this. That first fraction, 1 plus cos theta, all divided by sine theta. Um, oh, sorry, wait. Let me ask that question again. Were you talking about this one or this one? The, the first one. Okay. So, Sarang's question was, can I break apart that fraction into, wrong color, 1 on sine theta? plus cos theta on sine theta. I want to know what your opinion is on can he do that? Can he do that? I'm getting some nods, some kind of, what's the question? Yeah, I'm getting nods. Okay, I'm getting nods accurately because yes, you can take the first fraction on the left here and turn it into this. However, I'm going to suggest not a helpful way to go and I'll tell you how I knew without even having done this question yet. This is a proof where... <laughs> Hello, who are you looking for? Um, looking for... <laughs> okay, anyone else? And one more on the other page. That one. Across two. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, sorry, just let me grab that. Um, Shani and Adidya. Um, HSI staff room now, apparently. Thank you. And you're looking for? <laughs> and John, you also, you also won the lottery. Sorry. Oh, one more? One more? That's fine. Shane Barbie. Shane Barbie? You too. Okay. Um, Shane Barbie, would you get the door for me, please? When you? Thanks. Okay. Uh, HSI staff room, guys. Thank you. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. So. One over sine. Oh yeah, process. Yeah, I'm on the way. Okay. So what are we trying to do here? We're trying to turn one of these sides into the other. Left hand side to right or right hand side to left. There's a fairly obvious one that you can start with. Which side makes more sense to start with? The the left, the harder one, because it's messy. Our brains are much better at simplifying messy things than messying simple things. You're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay. So we're gonna start with our left hand side. And I'm going to move from there to there. But to Sarang's original question slash suggestion, does it help me to break this one fraction into two? And I would argue probably not, because I'm trying to get all of this mess into one term. And this actually serves to separate them out into more different terms. Does that make sense, Sarang? Because yeah. that was your suggestion. Do you see why I'm not going to do that? Yeah. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Left hand side. Okay, I'm going to start working with this thing. Now there are two fractions. So my immediate first thing is, when you've got two fractions that have, as you can see, different denominators, what's your instinct if you're going to combine these? I'm going to, I'm going to multiply the two denominators together to get a common denominator. Do you agree with that? A common denominator is the thing I'm really after. So let's go ahead and do that. So I get 1 plus cos theta on sine theta. And I'll multiply the top and the bottom by the other denominator, this guy over here. Okay? Now, being that this numerator happens to coincidentally be the same as the other denominator, I just get it squared. And then you get 1 plus cos theta also on the denominator. So far, so good. I'm on my way. Uh, we'll do the same thing with the other guy. And then I notice there's this weird symmetry to this, right? You're like, oh, this denominator is the same as this numerator. So I'm going to go. That's going to be sine squared theta, because I multiplied it by sine. And then over here, I get the same denominator, because after all, uh, that was the point. That's what I was trying to head towards. So far, so good? Great. So the whole point of having a common denominator is I can now combine these two fractions into one. So that gives me uh, 1 plus cos theta all squared plus sine squared all over this rather long and messy denominator. OK, let me pause. Question. Is that where you're going to turn sine squared theta into cos minus Okay, so, so I am definitely going to be, if you think back to yesterday's lesson, I am definitely going to be using what we call the Pythagorean identity. Do you remember that guy, right? Cos squared plus sine squared equals 1. Okay, I'm going to use that, but I'm not, I'm not ready yet. Okay, this thing here needs to be expanded out with a little bit of care. Okay, so let's, let's do this. This here, 1 plus cos theta all squared. Can you help me out? This is a binomial being expanded. What am I going to get when I expand? 1. 1, good start. Plus? 2, two cos theta, I heard. Plus? 
cos squared, and then there's that sine squared that's still hanging out on the end there. So far so good? So that is all divided through by the same denominator. Nothing's happened to that denominator. Okay. Now, I'm just going to pause here for a moment before I go any further. I think you guys can see at this point, you're like, ooh, ooh, that thing I recognize, right? And then also, I go back to what I'm trying to go toward. This is a little bit like, you know, I've got my destination in mind, so I'm like driving toward there and thinking, how can I get closer? Um, two cosec theta. This is a, what kind of identity is that? Cosec is its own identity, right? What is it? It's, it's a trig identity of what? One over, one over sine, right? You've got that S there which tells you it's one over sine. So in other words, like my second last line will be one over, sorry, two over sine theta. Do you agree? And look, look, see that sine theta that's down there? You're like, ooh, that's good. This other thing, that's not supposed to be there, so eventually I hope it will cancel. Will it cancel? Yeah. It will, because that's a one. So 1 plus 1 gives you 2, no. <laughs> right? And then wait, wait, two? Wait, wait, wait. 1, this is 1, plus this is 1. Do you see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's an identity we know. And then you can see I can factorize out 1 plus cos theta on the top. Or I can factor out 2 is an easier way to say it. Factor out 2 leaves you with, maybe I'll write it for you just so you can see it, 1 plus cos theta in the brackets. That leaves you with a sine theta on the bottom and a 1 plus cos theta, which is about to cancel. You see that? So there goes the cancel, cancel, and then literally my next line is that. And I'm done. Oh, yeah. Does that make sense? You see where I got there? Now, this was a three mark question. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now where the three marks were. You might be able to guess. Have a think. This is definitely going to be marked here, right? All right, we know to use that identity. What else do you think are like the big things that we did, the big changes that we had to make? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to call these two lines together, right? Um, we were putting them on a common denominator, and then uh, we also started to expand that 1 plus cos theta, okay? So there's a mark. And then here's your, um, here's your final stretch, right? You have to do that factorization, which then leaves you with just the sine theta, and then it becomes a reciprocal. Um, you don't get anything for that last line because we gave you that in the question, okay? Any questions on that? Now, what did I do that you didn't do? Part of what I just did is easy for you to learn, part of it's hard. Okay, I'll tell you the hard part first. The hard part is um, I, look at, um, I look at this line and I instantly know eventually I'm going to get to this because I'm like, oh, there's going to be some multiplication. There's going to be some cross multiplying here, cos squareds, sine squareds. So I eventually, I kind of, I have this intuition that I'm heading in that general direction. But even if you did not know that that's where you were going, you all know you've got to take two fractions, combine them into one. You guys can handle that. Um, this is on the reference sheet. You don't need to remember it's there, right? Um, this guy here, you did need to know, but hopefully by the time you get to this point, it jogs your memory. Okay.